Before you begin, review your assembly guide to ensure you have all of the correct parts. We recommend assembling the product in the same location in which you intend to use it. If you have a folding treadmill, do not cut the banding straps on the unit until you are ready to begin assembly. When cutting the straps, the deck may move upward due to pressure from the air shock. Slide the left console mast onto the base frame. Using a 6mm Allen wrench for the side bolts and a 5mm Allen wrench for the front bolt, lightly tighten the bolts. On the right side of the unit, pull the console cable from the base frame. Attach the cable to the lead wire at the bottom of the right console mast and tuck the cable into the mast. Slide the mast onto the base frame, paying attention not to pinch the cable. Attach the bolts at the base of the console mast. Set the console mast boots in place, and then carefully pull the lead wire at the top of the right console mast until the console cable reaches the top of the mast. Connect the cables from the mast to the cables from the console base. There should be a console cable on the right side and handlebar heart rate sensor wires on both sides. Once connected, discard the lead wire and tuck the wires into the masts. With a 6mm Allen wrench, attach the console base to the console masts. Place the left and right handlebar sleeves onto the console masts. Set the handlebar onto the console masts to attach the wires. Then, tuck the wires into the mast and secure the handlebar to the masts. Use a 6mm Allen wrench for the two rear bolts and a 5mm Allen wrench for the front bolt on each side. Now, using a torque wrench, you may tighten the bolts from the first three steps. Insert the handlebar caps onto the handlebar to conceal the bolts. At the base of the console masts, attach the base frame covers using a Phillips screwdriver. Place the console onto the console base. Gently pull the cables and connect them to the console control board. Gently tuck the cables into the console and set the console in place. Be careful not to pinch any wires. With a 5mm Allen wrench, attach the console to the console base. Using a Phillips screwdriver, attach the console back cover. Assembly is complete. You are ready to plug in your unit.